the new film censor arrives at his office in Water Street. Lord Tyrrell confesses that he's a film fan. Yes, that's quite true. On an average, I go to films once or twice a week. I've always been interested in film work. I'm a great believer in the future of the industry, and I think it will be an instrument of great good. At Southampton, the Berengaria's captain, Sir Edgar Britton, has just heard that he is to command the Cunard White Star giant, Queen Mary. I may say the first ship I was in was a thousand tons. And I understand the Queen Mary will be certainly over 73,000, so it shows what developments have gone on uh, during that period. Although uh, the ship I was in was certainly not the biggest ship by any means afloat. On the Franco-Italian frontier, French government officials are watching night and day to ensure that sanctions orders against trade with Italy are strictly enforced. Transport agencies have shut up shop as the only goods allowed to cross the frontier are newspapers. At the entrance to the Morsini Tunnel, police are watching. France is playing her part. At Caxton Hall Register Office, the future Mrs. Sammy Ragg arrives for her wedding to the famous jockey. Brother jockeys arrive and then comes Sammy himself on his way to the post for the race of his life. It's over, with Mr. and Mrs. Ragg past the post neck and neck, and Sammy leading out the winner probably for the first time in his life. Asked whether he thought he'd enjoy married life, Sammy said it was a hundred to one cert. New York believes in being prepared for any eventuality, including a possible attack by enemy bombing planes. In order to test the possibilities of protecting the city with a smoke screen, United States Army planes fly over representing enemy attackers, while the defending machines lay a smoke screen. spreads the smoke, parts of the city become indistinct in the haze. Even the sun is obscured by man's efforts to protect himself against enemy bombers. At New York's Hyde Park Town Hall, in the recent American elections, a country squire casts his vote. What's your name? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Franklin D. Roosevelt, 399. Following the president to the polls are his mother and the first lady, the Roosevelt clan, out in full strength to register its choice on election day. And while they didn't say who they voted for, as Mr. Roosevelt is Democratic president, no doubt the Democratic Party received 100% support from this voter. Here's the battlefield at Heron Lake, Minnesota, just before the battle, when 30 rustic knights of the farm line up for the annual Minnesota corn husking contest. The competition lies in picking the ears off the wheat and throwing them into the passing farm wagons. And the winner is the man who can clear his section of the field in the shortest possible time. A test of brain, brawn, and a keen eye. But there's more than just sheer speed required to outchuck this field, for there's a penalty for every ear that's overlooked or misses the wagon. And here's the winner, Ted Bolko, who balked his rivals. At Long Beach, California, air show fans get the thrill of their lives as Milo Bertram, outstanding stunt ace, goes out looking for trouble by deliberately dropping a wheel. Now watch as Bertram tries to bring his crippled plane safely back to Earth on the one remaining wheel. A dangerous job, and he knows it too. This time he comes in slowly with a dead motor and sets the ship gently down. A rare example of nerve and skill with Patty's cameraman on the job.